Really good. Gonna bring your next act on. Jasmine Sierra, please. Get going. Jasmine Sierra, everyone! How are we feeling? How are we feeling? All right, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm really distracted. I feel like we could be a before and after picture. <laughs> We should like, we should call Ozempic. We could get some money out of this. Your, your hair is class. I don't see a lot of that in Northern Ireland. That's where I'm living, yeah. Not a lot, of, I'm the only one in fact. I'm the only one who looks like this in Northern Ireland. <laughs> ah, rough time to be a fat chick, yeah? Lizzo really fucked it. See? We were doing well. We were doing well. She had paved a way. Men were starting to believe, maybe maybe we can date a fat chick. And I was like, yes, yes. And then Lizzo giveth and she take away it. She just ruined it, okay? I'm gonna say something controversial. I'm not gonna defend her. I'm not gonna defend her because we don't know all the facts, yeah. We don't know all the facts. But I will say the word fat, okay, it's a lot like, the N word. Some people, some people can say it. I can say both. We're on agreement. You can't, yeah, you, you can say neither. Y'all yeah. can say neither. You can say neither. I'd say 99% of this room can say neither. You can say one. <laughs> He can say one. Yeah. Now, because Lizzo fucked it, I've been, I had to get a gym membership. I went and, uh, and I signed up online, right? I signed up online. I arrived to the gym. I'm like, I'm gonna boost my confidence. Things are gonna get really great for me. I open the door. There's two flights of stairs to get into the gym. Immediately, I wanna go home. <laughs> I braved it, jumped on the lift, we went upstairs. <laughs> I get there, somehow, I pick the only fucking treadmill with a squeak, okay? So just, I'm not even running, you know? It's a light jog at most, but it sounds like the treadmill is just begging for its life. <laughs> just, just like a big fee fi fo fum and I'm not even going that fast. <laughs> Uh, I think the worst part is I went to the weights, you know, I was like, oh, this is better, this is better, I'll go over to the weights. I sit on the bench, do a few things, I get up, my ass <laughs> made something on. <laughs> and so then every machine after that, I had to act like a dog with worms and just scoop my ass down to make sure there was nothing left over, you know? There's nothing there. Yeah. People ask me all the time, why, why did you move to Northern Ireland? Why would you go there? Um, honestly, I moved there for the gingers. I, yeah, I love a ginger. I love a, a nerdy, angry ginger. It, just, it does something for me, so it does. But for whatever reason, the only thing I tend to attract is these super muscly gym rat all coke, no crack, guys. And it's, it's infuriating, but I have decided, you know, I'm on the tinders, I'm doing all things, but I won't go home with a man anymore. I won't do it. Uh, and it's not because of strong morals. It's because I, like Brona, have PCOS. She has the cool one that keeps her from babies. Mine gives me facial hair. And so, you go to bed with me, right? It's really sexy. Jasmine Otilias. <laughs> okay? But you wake up next to Black Hagrid. <laughs> and... <laughs> yeah. So, at midnight, it's Cinderella up in this bitch. Like, I gotta go. I got to route. <sighs> now, gingers, gym men, Americans, not Americans, no matter what, the men fucking lie. Okay, oh, 
Everyone's like, whoa, where is she going with this? I'll give you an example. Sir. <laughs> How tall are you? 5'10", <laughs> maybe. You lock in your answer. Huh? 5'10", stand up for me. <laughs> now, ladies, you can stay safe. You don't have to live this life of, is he 5'10"? Is he honest? <laughs> because you can download the Measure app. <laughs> and all you have to do is you point at a bottom of a target and you go all the way up. I'll be generous, I'll give you the hat. And we got ourselves a liar. Go ahead, sit down. <laughs> just, a, just a big old liar. You want to hear about some trauma? <laughs> uh, you don't realize how traumatized you are until you make friends with people with like two parents and you start giving them suggestions, you know? My friend, she was like, I can't, I can't make it to dinner. You know, my five-year-old, I can't find her a sitter. And I was like, leave it at home. <laughs> Just leave it at home. Survival skills, you know? It needs to learn some things. And she was like, no, no, no. So naturally I'm in therapy. Um, and my therapist asked me something really silly the other day. She goes, Jasmine, I need to know, who do you feel more rejected by? Your mother or your father? Didn't miss a beat. I said, my kidnapper, okay? <laughs> because it is one thing to be kidnapped and it is another thing to be brought back <laughs> within the same day, you know, same, same day. I lost my virginity in a really feminist way, uh, accidentally to myself. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of feminism, anybody see the Barbie movie? Yeah, yeah, so those of you who haven't seen the Barbie movie, the premise is how you play with your Barbies is what affects the Barbie world. And I realized I would probably be banned from my Barbie world. Number one, all my Barbies were hand-me-downs. So they went from Malibu Mansion to the hood, okay? <laughs> These are not your average Barbie. Also, because they were hand-me-downs, I didn't get to pick them. So I had to color them to look like me. So all my Barbies, just a big minstrel show. Just <laughs> blackface canceled in my Barbie world. And the last reason I could not go to my Barbie world is my Barbies used to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> they used to fuck each other. They used to fuck the Ninja Turtles. I could have a kid somewhere in Barbie world. Losing that virginity was wild. You know? So you guys have been really great. Uh, my name is Jasmine Sierra. Thank you. <laughs> Jasmine Sierra, everyone.